Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The South African Institution of Civil Engineering this week released its third infrastructure report card for South Africa. Anine Killian joins me to talk about the results of the report. Hi Anine. Hi Chanel. What were the main findings of the report? So the report found that um, a lack of skilled professionals and maintenance were major challenge within South Africa's infrastructure sector. Um, it also highlighted that efficient maintenance of infrastructure was critical, and if um, infrastructure was mismanaged, then the lifespan, obviously, of roads, rail, um, water, sani sanitation infrastructure would decline. Um, according to the report, uh, the lives of people in smaller towns um, are impacted, for example, if um, water purification works and sewage works are mismanaged or not maintained. It leads them leaves them being exposed to, to health risks. This type of situation arises when municipalities have no or inexperienced um, civil engineering practitioners. The overall grade the, uh, that was awarded for South Africa's infrastructure is a D plus, so not great. The institution has expanded the number of sectors it's assessing. SICE's latest IRC follows on reports published in 2006 and 2011. Um, this year, report um, expanded on 10 sectors with 29 subsectors. Um, the sectors, the main sectors, include water supply, water sanitation, roads, rail, and electricity. What were the report's findings of the country's water and sanitation and transport sectors? Um, well, regarding sanitation, um, the Num amounts of people who are unserved rega regarding water services has remained relatively flat since 1994. Um, since around 4 million households still don't have access to clean drinking water. Um, the report says that if that is to be addressed, um, then additional financial services need to be supplied to municipalities. Um, and municipalities also need to employ uh, skilled people to uh, ensure maintenance of South Africa's um, waterborne systems. Um, it highlights that services can't be provided efficiently unless there is sufficient access to water. Um, so further investment in that dimension is, is clearly needed, um, according to the report. Um, when it comes to road and rail, the condition of South Africa's 750,000 kilometers of um, intercity road networks is fairly well maintained, and it has been for the past 20 years. Um, however, national roads can't receive an A grading because around 5,000 kilometers of provincial roads are incorporated into the national roads network. So a large proportion of the national road network is older than the 20-year-old theoretical design life, um, which reflects on the quality of roads built in the past, as well as road maintenance carried out um, by the South African National Roads Agency. Currently, the report says that 11% of South Africa's road services are in very poor condition and need urgent maintenance and upgrades. Thank you. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.